Previously on Dr. Booplove. Dr. Booplove here, and last time we talked about the importance of sight lines, and I showed you one for every map. Well, today I've decided to get a little crazy and show you 85 sneaky sight lines, five from every map in this game. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button so we can spread the poop love around the world. But let's get into it. Starting off on Lakeside, if you are to climb on top of the roof here and get to the very top of this roof, um, you can peer all the way across the map to where a lot of times snipers sit and get them. When you climb up on this other roof over here, get to the very edge and you can peer over and see people that are trying to get this supply box That's over here. Down. You can head up this way and get behind this car here and you have a really great angle on anyone that's going for the box. Using this boat, I typically shoulder swap and from this side you can catch people as they're sniping over Locking here. Down. If you have someone camping up here and you make your way on the far side over here, you actually have a very good spot by this tree to potentially body shot anyone one down. that is camping. All right, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this one already, but if you jump onto this wall right here, you can get up here and it's a pretty nice out, right. angle to see if you can find anyone on the other side. All right, this next one here, if you know someone is behind the couch, you can jump up to here and even though you might not be totally able to see it, you can definitely hit their feet and get it down. All right, so of course from these windows you can get a pretty good angle on people down below, but you can even get a good angle on people that are in this window here, as well as anyone all the way down at the start of the map here. From here, you can actually view all the way over to this place where a lot of snipers like to camp, and if you get your teammates to kind of try to bait them out, they will not suspect you coming. And of course, these sandbags are a pretty well-known sight line to get anyone heading down the hall. But if you shoulder swap over here, you become a much harder to view target. And you can still get some nice downs. All right, so on downtown, one of my favorites here is you go down to this mess of train cars, but you can look straight through and you can often catch people that may be heading down this way. And in the exact opposite space, you can do the exact same thing to anyone moving down this way. That's one down. If you stand behind the rubble here, you have some pretty good angles to actually see people that are all the way on the other side of the map and trying to catch them as they head down, down the hill. Up here at the top here, if you make your way down this way and over on the edge over here, you can get a good angle on those that are trying to get the supply box. Also up here, if you stand on this car, you have a really good angle across the way to those heading down by the bus. And I even like to sometimes duck a bit to give myself a little bit of cover and then I can pop out and land. The second floor of this building here, where if you peer alongside the outside here, you can catch a lot of people as they're heading down or as they're crawling through the subway system. Target down. All right, on Bookstore, one of my favorite things to do is to stand on top of this table and you can peer along the bridge to see anyone who might be camping back here and get them. Standing on top of this table here, if you know that someone is doing some snipes from across the way, you can really catch them hard. Using this window here, which a lot of people don't really expect you to be in, but you can use it to snipe anyone that may be coming down the stairs or making their way towards this one box. Down. Up on this side of the stairway, you can you have a pretty good angle of people that may be moving from the box over here around the sandbags. And you could even stand up on here to get a better angle, but there's a lot of sniper battles that happen in this hallway here. But you can really throw someone off guard if you head all the way back, especially in the opening moments, to get in some very sneaky Thanks sniper out. shots. All right, one of my favorites on Bus Depot is using this window here, which a lot of people use to get people down below, but did you know that you can use it to reach all the way down to the supply box where people can get a headshot? It's on top of this police cruiser where you have a good angle on those at this supply box, but also 
anyone. That's one down. So if you know someone is sniping in the window across the way and you want to get a sneaky shot on him, then you can go over here behind this boarded up window and use it to watch. You can climb on top of these walls and get a really good angle that can lead towards traffic going this way. If you're up here on the rafters, you can use this angle to get anyone heading towards the gate. One down. All right, so on wharf, you can use this corner right here to catch people that are heading towards the box. You can use this little spot on the edge of the boat to peer over to those leaving this down. box, but also those making their way on this little this is a common sniper spot, but one place I like to go is actually over here and use this as my defense to catch people making their way towards this box. If you know the enemy has spawned over here at this supply box, you can climb up here and you might have a chance to catch them as they make their way over towards you. Also, if you're up here on this sniper perch, there's plenty of sniper angles, but did you know that if there's anyone heading towards you this way, you can shoot down. through this crack. On coal mine, if you know someone is sniping on this bridge, you have a nice little box here that you can use to give you a sneaky angle to snipe them. You can also get that same sniper a little bit further back here on the rocks. If you get in this corner right here and scope in, you have a nice little window to get them. So this window right here is perfect for getting people as they're heading towards this box. It's also good for people that are making their way from that box. And also, if you get lucky, you can snipe someone at this box using this little crevice through the wheels. Also, if you are in this part of the coal mine and you know people are across the other way on the bridge, you might be able to get a sniper shot by standing up here and pointing through this window to get some unsuspecting people. Standing up on this crate here as you know someone may be heading towards this box and shooting through the gap. All right, on Financial Plaza, one interesting spot to go is standing up on top of here and you have a uh, nice little angle on this box over here. If you know the enemy spawn on this other side of the map, you can jump up here and you might be able to catch them as they're heading to the supply down. box. If you have a sniper hanging out in this window here, you can actually come over here and shoot between this little gap to get him. If you know the enemy has spawned on this side of the map, you can climb up here and you might be able to catch them as they're making their way towards this box. Target down. If you really want someone to really be guessing where they're getting shot from, you can go all the way to the back of this map here and aim towards the supply box. And it might be a while before they realize how far back you are. All right, so on this poopy map, there is this spot where it says Ish was here. And you can actually, uh, not a whole lot of sniper spots. I wish there were more, but you can catch someone as they're heading towards the box from this very, very small yeah. angle. Moving a little further forward though, you do have a decent angle on anyone that may be in this middle opening. Yeah. Moving on to inside the sewers, one spot I like to catch people at the box is over here. And then also from this far back point in the sewers, you can go this far back to catch those that are heading for this box. If you know someone is sniping by this boat over here, you can jump up and get to the very edge of this rock and you can get a pretty decent angle. All right, so on this dumb map, if you know someone is sniping from this far window over here, you can climb up here and you have a really good angle. You can go to this area and look across as someone may be heading towards the down. supply box. If you're over on the rafters over here, I like to catch people off off guard at the supply box. If you think that the enemies are heading towards this supply box, you can jump up here and you might be able to catch them as they're making their way. Down. Also over here, you have a pretty interesting gap right here that you can use to catch someone that may be heading around. Down. And of course, sight lines do work both ways. And this one is a particularly good example of that in that you can get someone on the other side of the map who's up on the roof, but they can just as easily get you from. If you know you have an enemy in the middle here, you can actually go up 
to this side of the fence, shoulder swap, and you get it down. Using this trash can as cover and shoulder swapping to get someone across from them. Another decent spot to catch someone in this liquor store window is to climb on top of this branch here and get a nice little angle that they may not suspect. To catch someone off guard as they may be heading in this little flank path is to stand on top of this truck here and you can shoot through the fence and there's a few other places you can shoot through this fence as well. All right, here on Scrubberbs, if you stand up on top of this and shoulder swap, you can catch people that are heading to the box. Also, backing up just a little bit, if you look between these fences, you can catch someone as they are making their way into this backyard area. One down. All right, so a lot of people know about getting up here and sniping across the way, but there is a little gap here that you can also use to very sneakily capture anyone that may be in this sniping spot. If you climb on top of this roof here, it is kind of a known sniper spot, but you can check out over here across the map and catch people that may be heading from the box. All right, now if you use this fence, you can shoot through some of these gaps and catch someone as they are heading down. All right, so for hometown, if you know that the enemy is over by this far box over here, then you can make your way to this corner here and you might be able to catch them as they're making their way. If you're on top of this roof here, you have all this area over here that you can actually see towards enemies that may be making their way towards this box. Going up to this burned out building and shoulder swapping your way to see various spots towards the enemy that may be in this near this supply box and you can catch anyone that may be trying to snipe you. For catching someone at this supply box is climbing up here and you are on this little elevation. You can stick out this way and you can even shoot through this little gap. All right, now it might be easier to get these people from up here, but if you want to be behind more cover or you don't have as much time, you can go down here and back up a little bit and you might be able to catch someone as they get into the supply box. Before I get to the next sight lines, if you're liking this video so far, why not hit that subscribe button? Because I'm gonna be doing tips videos like this whenever Factions 2 comes out. All right, so a very interesting sight line that you can use to get anyone that may be going down to the bottom half of the dam. You stand up on here and you can snipe in and it's a little hard to find them but this is someone walking down this path Target down. so a pretty typical sniper spot is up on this crate and a lot of times if there's another sniper they go on top of this car but if you really want to throw them off guard you can head down the hill a little bit and you still have a pretty good angle and you can hit them from down here when you know there are people over on this left side you can be pretty tricky by going over here and you have a pretty good angle to snipe them and they're not really gonna have as good a visibility. All right, now one sneaky thing you can do is if you know that the enemy is at this supply box here, one way to get them is you can shoot from under the catwalk and you can get a pretty decent angle on them as they're trying to get them out. Now a lot of people know that you can shoot through these tarps to hit an enemy but it also offers some pretty decently long sight lines as well that you can use to shoot people that are down by the dam and you can use this to your advantage. All right, on high school, one thing you can do if you know that there are enemies either hiding over here or at the supply box is you can climb up here to get a better angle and better elevation to get those headshots just that little bit. Now, a lot of people know this sniper window, but what you may not know is that Anyone that may be camping over here, you can actually look underneath the vent and catch them in the foot, which can really uh, make you have an advantage against any sniper battle. If I have the jump on an enemy who may be getting the supply box, is I'll go up here and I will shoot them from up above through the ladder room. If you are engaged in a sniper battle across the way 
is a pretty tricky angle that I think can really throw people off guard, and that is to go by the same and shoot down. them like this. If you know someone is sniping from this window and you want to catch them a bit off guard, you can come around here and kind of crouch and you through this gap, you have a pretty easy angle from which to get them. All right, on Billstown, I've seen FN players use this before. You can get up on this truck right here at the beginning and catch people that are making their way over to this right side box. As you're making your way upstairs, you can actually kind of shoulder swap and see a good angle on people that may be heading towards this box over here. Moving back just a little bit is another interesting sneaky angle that you can get on anyone that may be sniping from this. Also, if you're up on the bridge here, you do have a pretty interesting angle that you can look through to, towards anyone heading towards the diner and you can catch them off guard. And this might be kind of a more common one, but I don't see enough people using it, so I'm gonna call it out and you shoulder swap here and you can find someone getting the box pretty easily. All right, on checkpoint and one of my favorites to use is to get on the fire truck and get up here and you have a good angle on the window, this entrance over here, as well as across the way over here. Now really you have two sandbags here which are great for standing on top of and it gives you a really good angle from which to get someone that may be getting the box. Over That's here. one down! All right, this next one I've seen used by only the campiest of campers in FN matches and that is to get up over here on the back and you can have a really good angle to getting anyone that is on the roof over here or in this right down. here. All right, another decent spot that allows you to have some nice visibility into this box, as well as, of course, various parts of the map, and even potentially the ability to get someone that may be camping all the way across. Checkpoint! And of course, this is checkpoint, so I have to say this, but you can shoot Hold through the down! van to get a headshot on anyone that may be hiding behind it. And of course, this is not all sight lines that exist in this game, but if you wanna see 17 more and a little bit more discussion on why sight lines are important, then you should check this video out. But otherwise, so long, pooper troopers.